G'day kids. We'll try again. G'day kids, can you hear me? Yes. Are you listening? Yes. Great, because we are going to do some listening. Okay, we're going to sit still and quiet for 15 seconds. About 15 seconds. And in that 15 seconds, I want you to listen and take note of any sounds that you hear in that 15 seconds. Do you understand what we are doing? I'm not convinced, but we'll try. Okay, ready? Go. <clears throat> All right, that's long enough. Okay, what sounds did you hear? Who heard something? What did you hear? That thing, the heater going. Great. What else did you hear? What did you hear? Same thing. It's pretty loud, isn't it? It's got this nice low hum going. Yes? What do we got over here? You heard me. What did I do? I coughed. I did cough. Sorry, that was not intentional. Anything else? I heard something. There's Somebody's got a container of food somewhere and they're rattling it. We heard lots of different sounds then, didn't we? What did we just prove that we can do? We can listen. We can hear. What have we got on our heads? Ears. And what do they enable us to be able to do? They help us to listen. Actually, they, they make us listen. These are what make us listen. Do you know that in the Bible passage today, we're doing Revelation, and we're looking at chapters 2 and 3 today. And in this section... Uh, there's all these little letters to seven different churches and each letter finishes with this same little saying that says this. It says, let anyone who has ears to hear listen to what the Spirit says to the churches. Now, it says there, anyone who has ears to hear. Do you guys all have ears to hear? Do they all have ears to hear? Some of them, maybe the ears don't work as well. But at some point, they worked well. Who do you think needs to listen to these letters then? Everyone. If you follow Jesus, then you need to listen to what is said in these letters. They are to the churches, but to those who have ears to hear. So as we hear them, and we hear that they are to the church at Ephesus or the church at Thyatira, which are big, funny words, we go, actually, we need to listen to this too. We need to listen to the good things in there, like, hey, Keep standing strong in Jesus, even when people are maybe treating you badly because you follow Jesus. And we need to listen to the bad bits like, hey, you, you're starting to do what all those bad people are doing. Turn back to Jesus and say, sorry, we need to always be listening to what God says in his word, don't we? And then you all say, yes, Steve. Yes, Steve. Great, that means you've been listening. Okay. Let's pray. Oh, sorry. One last thing. Here's a challenge for you with your families this week. There are seven letters and there are seven days in the week. So why not each day, if you haven't done it this previous week, read one letter each day and have to think about what is this one saying to us with the ears to listen? What is maybe encouraging us or maybe what is in there that's telling us, oh, we need to be thinking harder and doing something different here. Okay. Okay. There's a challenge for you and your families this week. Now I'll pray. Lord God, thank you for giving us ears. Thank you that we can listen, but more importantly, thank you that we have your word and that we can listen to it and hear you speak to us. Please help us to listen as we do that. Amen.